Hello friends, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my YouTube. Today I am going to be painting some strawberries with gouache paint. I love gouache so much. It is such an amazing medium. This particular painting is a fruit study. I haven't done much painting of food before and well what better time to start than the present so here we are painting some strawberries i wanted bold bright colors so we went for a yellow background the reference photo i used was actually a combination of like four or five different reference photos i had a background picked out i had several different strawberry like photos i used and just kind of mushed them into one and yeah that's that's how i tend to do a lot of my paintings i mush a lot of different reference photos and create my own thing so i went with a bold yellow background and i wanted some really like harsh direct sunlight to create some really like intense shadows so the background is yellow and then those shadows uh include a little bit more blue in them so like it's not just straight up black in those shadows then for the strawberries, of course, I mean, I've never done this before, so we just kind of experimented. There's a few things I think I'd change, but you know, I started out with a light, light, light pink for the highlight areas. And then from there, I begin to layer on a more like mid-tone red. And I do end up using more water here than normally I would probably use with gouache, but I really like treating gouache a lot of times like it's watercolor. Using the water to really blend the colors together. Sometimes I like really harsh clean lines with gouache, like I did for the background um, with those shadows. Like I kept it very opaque and thick, but here putting on the base layer of the strawberries, I used a bit more water to blend all those layers together. I do think here I was wiping away just a little bit too much of that mid-tone red. I do wish I had left a little bit more, added a little bit more, just because I feel like at the end, you'll see that it's just a little too highlighty ish almost like the strawberries under ripe. But, you know, this is my first food study, like, first berry painting, so, I mean, yeah, I, w I was learning as I went. <laughs> so, now we're going in and adding some of the little, like, seed areas, just adding some more of that mid-tone into the highlight areas to, you know, create the base spot for those seeds. I'm gonna take a brief pause here to say, if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is a new YouTube channel. I had another YouTube channel, but decided to, you know, uh, start one for just my art. So, if you are new here, make sure you hit that like and subscribe so you can see more art videos. I really enjoy recording painting. It's a lot of fun and yeah, so hit that like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. So here I am adding some more highlighty lines and then yeah, not a whole lot to say about that. Uh, and then the greenery, which I don't know why. But greenery stresses me out. I just, I need to work on it. I'm not very good at it. I'm also not very good at flowers. It's just those, I don't know. I think it's just like the different layers. Like I overthink it. 
honestly. It's just I always end up overthinking where I'm putting the paint and how the light is. Yeah, I don't know, guys. The tops of these strawberries are not my favorite, but I mean, it it was a it was again my first try here. <laughs> With the tops of these strawberries, I do have a thicker pink consistency, especially for the lighter color. It's very opaque. It's very, like, nice, thick, buttery, te like, type of texture that I'm going in with. And then once I get all those layers on, I kind of went back in with a wet brush and kind of blended those colors together. I also tried to add some brown areas, like, to indicate, you know, dying leaves. I'm not sure that really came through very well looking at it now, but, you know, it's not the worst thing I've ever done. Then I went back in and added some extra shadows around the leaves, because I didn't add those in beforehand. So once I got the leaves finished up, I added those shadows to, you know convey the light coming down over the strawberry. Now, right here at the end, I also took some yellow, a very watered down, and brushed it along the sides of the strawberries to add that light reflecting off of the backdrop up onto the berries. So, voila! My first ever fruit food study painting. Ta-da! So anyways, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. 